pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Heavenly Father, give grace and courage to the ones who have worked hard and now greet this special time of graduation. We thank you for protecting and guiding them to this point. Inspire this class of 2020 to put to good use all the knowledge, skills, and faith and life lessons gained through their education. Most importantly, as they face unknown challenges, Moving on, help them to keep their greatest wisdom of all, that of knowing Jesus and the power of his cross. A chapter has closed and another eagerly awaits them. Pave their road with opportunities and inspire them to live with hope in this incredible journey called life. Continue to bless our graduates and their families with love, mercy, strength, and wisdom May they live passionately to honor and glorify your name. Through Christ our Lord, amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Rejoice in the Lord always. I shall say it again, rejoice. Your kindness shall be known to all. The Lord is near. Have no anxiety at all, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving. Make your requests known to God. Then the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is gracious, if there is any excellence and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing what you have learned and received and heard and seen in me. Then the God of peace will be with you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Because we live in the age of this coronavirus, unfortunately your graduation is not what you were planning for or what your parents had dreamed for you many years ago when you began your studies in a Catholic school. Your families have made great sacrifices to send you to a Catholic school that you might have a quality Catholic education. I think of each of them and their love for the church and more importantly for the understanding that they have for you as the next generation in our faith. The only thing we compare this uh, pandemic to is, is a war because it's a time of war. Nothing is, is normal. In times of war, there are children around the world who are not able to go to school just as you were not able to go to school. Your schooling became uh, truncated and virtual. It, it is truly a time of war because this war is a, not just against the virus, but uh, we see we're not dodging bullets as some of the children around the world are, but we have become virtual prisoners of this war. 
Many young people of the, around the world have become refugees. They must flee for their lives. And we in this virtual imprisonment have to experience a shelter in place to ensure that our lives and the lives of others continue without this terrible virus. Someday you may be able to recount to your children and grandchildren what this pandemic did to the world. My grandmother once told me about the Spanish flu pandemic of the last century and how she was helping her neighbors to prepare bodies for burial since no one was willing to do that work. During that time, she was pregnant with my mother who was born the following year. Her story is something I will never forget. And someday you too can speak to your children and grandchildren about the coronavirus and how it affected your lives. More important than preserving history during this pandemic, we need you young people to make history. We need you to go into the world and to talk about your lives as witnesses to Jesus Christ. Each one of you can do this by accepting your vocation in life. Truly, you are witnesses to Jesus Christ, who is alive in the world and who has saved us by dying on the cross. So too, you must accept your vocation in the world, be it to be a father or a mother, or perhaps a priest, religious sister or brother, or whatever profession you follow. As graduates of a Catholic school, you should make sure that you recognize that you are empowered to be witnesses to Jesus Christ. In the wartime situation we find ourselves in, we understand that it is not just a war against the virus, but it is a war against materialism that finds no place for God in our lives. Yes, you will graduate, not in the way you long for, but your future will be bright. And during this time of isolation, we ask you to remember that the Lord walks beside you in your journey in life. Please know that I pray for you each day so that you young people will make a difference in the world to come. Welcome class of 2020, family, friends, Father Cola Maria, and Board of Directors. For those of you who don't know who I am, I am Fred Tuda, the proud principal of the St. Helen Catholic Academy. As I appear here before you, I can't help but think how wonderful it would have been if we were all here together. It is your day, and we cannot let anyone or anything take it away from you. You have earned the right to your day. From the day I met you, I knew that you were indeed a unique group of young women and men with bright futures ahead of you. Of course, I know in my head and in my heart that today is not the graduation you had all hoped for. It would have been wonderful to be here with Father Cole Maria at the podium, leading us in prayer and offering his words of wisdom. I had hoped to see you all throw your caps in the air and yell, we've made it. Today, we have very little pomp due to our unique circumstances. The word graduation comes from the Latin word gratis, meaning moving forward, advancement. Today, this word is quite powerful. It is up to you to figure out how you will move forward for you to determine just how far you plan to advance. However, never has a graduating class like the one of 2020 been looked to to become the leaders of tomorrow and make our world a better one for all to live in. Your hope, your dreams, and your commitment will make this our reality. If I had the power or the knowledge, I would tell you what tomorrow will bring. Unfortunately, I do not. No one can. We never expected this pandemic to occur. It is important that you remain brave, powerful, and focused as you begin your new path to high school. It is really okay to be worried or nervous about moving forward, graduating. After all, the Academy has been your home for many years and will continue to be here. You are all children of God and have proven to me to be faithful, caring, productive, Catholic individuals who will continue to follow God's work. I pray for you and your families in the days and years to come, and I look forward 
to hearing about the wonderful things that you will be doing in life. To quote my favorite author, Dr. Seuss, don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. Good luck and God bless. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2020. As eighth graders, you have completed the first leg of your journey towards high school. Many years ago, you began in pre-K or kindergarten. If you think about those memories, you had an opportunity over the past nine years to grow as a person. You've grown in knowledge, you've grown in wisdom, but most importantly, you've grown in faith. As you continue your journey, this graduation, June 2020, will be unlike any other in the history. You will be graduating remotely. You'll be moving on to high school in a different way. However, as you look at what you have accomplished, you have accomplished much because of the support of your parents and family. Graduation is a very special time. And it's a special time for you to learn and to be able to adapt we all know over the past three months, we've had to make many changes in our lives. You as eighth grade graduates have had the opportunity to learn through distance learning. You've had the opportunity to continue your friendships either through Facebook or through Instagram. You've also had the opportunity to grow with family. As we prepare for this graduation, it's a time for you to prepare for your next part of your life, that is high school. As you look to high school, you look to the new friends that you will meet. You will look to the new things that you will learn. But most importantly, you'll be rooted in the faith and the wisdom and the knowledge that you gathered in early childhood, elementary and middle school. Graduation allows us to take a huge step forward. It allows us to reflect on what was given to us. As you gather this graduation day, Think of the teachers that you've had along the way. Which of those teachers have made a, distance, a difference in your life? Think about the principal, how he or she have guided you. Think of your parish priests, how they have continued to build in you your faith. But most importantly, as you sit around for this graduation day, think of your parents. Think of the sacrifices that they have made for you. Think of all the things that they have done with you and for you. Your gratitude to your parents and your family is most important during these challenging times. So as you prepare for this graduation day and prepare to move to the next part of your life, remember God has a plan for each of us. The Holy Spirit will continue to provide us guidance and wisdom and Jesus our Savior will walk with you along this journey. Congratulations, best wishes, much success in the future. Good afternoon. Father Col Maria, Mr. Spanulo, Mr. Tudor, teachers, parents, families, and friends, and the 2020 graduates of St. Helen Catholic Academy. It has been a long and well-earned earned journey that I have proudly shared with each of you. Over the past 10 years, we have grown together as a class, and I have enjoyed every second. Little did I know that when I first came to this school, how many friendships and memories were about to be made. I have made friendships that I will cherish for life. Most importantly, going forward, we have learned to make God the center of our lives and to live by our parish motto, seeing Christ in one another. Today, we not only leave behind friends and families and teachers, 
but our second family and home. All of our wonderful teachers helped us reach this milestone. They would spend hours trying to make us understand what they were teaching and never gave up until the knowledge was imprinted into our brains. No matter how much we complained and mumbled under our breath, they pressed on, knowing that one day their effort would pay off. I am sure they never gave up hope and knew we would always strive to do our best. Thank you, Mr. Tudor, and all teachers for all the encouragement you have given us. Thank you, Ms. Smith, for putting up with all of us. We have had so many times with you in homeroom and you have watched us grow over the years. Thank you for keeping us in line when we got distracted. It is because of you and all our other teachers that we have grown into the students that we are today. Mr. V and Mr. Zara, thank you for being patient with our relentless questions because we always wanted to make sure we understood what we were learning. Mrs. Saul, thanks for making math a challenge and enjoyable. And Mr. V, thanks for always making social studies captivating and exciting. Thank you, Ms. Edwards, for making ELA fun and reading exciting. Thank you, Ms. Emma, for making us learn how Spanish could be so much fun, even though it seemed a little intimidating in the beginning. We now understand how to master the skill that is needed to successfully learn a second language. We are well prepared for high school. So even though this is the end of our time at St. Helen Catholic Academy, it is not the end for us. It is only the beginning. We have our future ahead of us as we pursue our high school education. My promise to my classmates is this. I promise to never forget the years I spent with you, not even when I'm 100. Thank you, class of 2020, for making the past 10 years an unforgettable experience that I will cherish in my heart for a lifetime. I pray that you accomplish all your hopes and dreams. And it, now, it is now time for a new beginning. Hi everyone, sitting in the classroom for one last time for you. Words cannot describe how proud I am of each and every one of you and all of the wonderful accomplishments you have conquered here at St. Helen Catholic Academy. It truly has been an honor and a privilege being your teacher, well, pretty much for every grade, and being on this amazing journey with you for so many years. I would not have wanted to be on this journey with any other class. You will always hold a special place in my heart. To my parents, thank you for welcoming me into your families and being stuck with me for so many years as well. I appreciate all of your support and cooperation you have given me over the years. Graduates, go out and shine like stars, like I know you will do. I will not say goodbye, but see you around the neighborhood. I love you guys, and may God bless you and guide you on your next chapter in life. Hey, eighth grade, everyone at St. Helens is so proud of you and all the hard work you've put in over the years. You're going to go off to high school next year, and that's exciting. I want you to take every opportunity that comes your way while you're there, and I want you to try and figure out who you want to be when you grow up and become an adult. Those are the two most important things in high school, in my opinion. Use your time well. We're all going to miss you so much here, but go forth and do great things, and I will see you when I see you. Bye, 8th grade. Congratulations, 8th graders. I'm so proud of you and so honored to have been your teacher for the past four years. It's been my privilege to have worked with you starting from 5th grade when you were still learning fractions and uh, getting better at your multiplication tables to seeing you as 6th graders when I had you for my homeroom class. And we spent most of the year together in school. And now it's eighth graders where you're mastering math and algebra. I couldn't be prouder of you. Uh, couldn't be happier to have worked with you. I wouldn't do anything differently. Every day was a pleasure. Um, and I told you that in every single class. Um, you guys are the best. Um, I wish you all success in the future. Many congratulations.
Congratulations, class of 2020. It is it's crazy to believe that it is already June. It is your graduation. You are moving on into high school. I know that this eighth grade year was not what you expected, but I hope you're still able to look back and find so many happy memories. And I wish you all the best in high school. And I know you're going to do amazing things. Congratulations, eighth graders. This is Mrs. Delisandro here, wishing you the best of everything on your graduation. I'm very proud of you. First of all, make sure in high school you work very hard. Make sure you make wise choices and choose your friends very, very carefully. Make sure that you have fun each and every day and make sure you take a little time to pray. I'm very proud of you. Congratulations and the best of luck in everything you do. Congratulations. Hi, eighth grade. Congratulations. I'm so proud of all of you. You've worked so hard. You deserve this. I've loved being able to watch you grow for the last five years, even though I still think of you as those little fourth graders that came into my class five years ago. Best first class that a teacher could have asked for but I've loved watching you grow into the young men and women that you're becoming. Continue to work hard, have fun. St. Helens will miss you. Hello, eighth grade graduates. It's been a pleasure watching you grow from pre-K students to wonderful young men and women. I wish you the best of luck in the coming years. Congratulations and God bless you. I'm so happy to share in the excitement of your graduation. Some of you I remember in pre-K, just beginning your journey at St. Helen. Others I've gotten to know along the way. I wish that success keeps following you in everything that you do. Today, and always remember to see Christ in one another. Congratulations and happy graduation. Congratulations, class of 2020. I know this wasn't how your last trimester at St. Helen's was supposed to go, but despite all the craziness, all of your hard work and effort has paid off. You're moving on to high school. I wish you the best of luck wherever you're going. Have a great summer. Hi, eighth graders. Congratulations on graduating from St. Helens. Good luck next year in high school. I know you will all do great. Enjoy your summer. Hello, eighth grade. This is Miss Avai from K111. And today I would love to congratulate you. You have done it. You are graduating. You have achieved a lot. So for your future, I wish you to chase your dreams, to never stop learning, never stop trying, and always give your best. Congratulations. Hi, class of 2020. Congratulations on your big day. This is one big step into the future and a day you will always remember. I wish you all the best of luck. Keep up the great work and continue to strive. Love always, Miss Vareka. To the quarantine class of 2020. I know your 8th grade year probably didn't go exactly the way you dreamed it would go, but it in no way takes away from all of your wonderful accomplishments. Congratulations on everything you have achieved and on a very well-earned graduation. During your time at St. Helens, you guys have grown together, you have learned together, and made lifelong friends and memories. Your next four years will only hold even more wonderful opportunities. Best of luck! I know you guys will all go on to do great things. Hello, 8th graders of St. Helens Catholic Academy. This is Mrs. Sylvain. I just want to congratulate you as you are the class of 2020. I know that it probably hasn't been easy <laughs> the last couple of months that we've been quarantined, but I know that you'll be doing, that you're doing your best and you'll do your best moving on to high school. Congratulations, class of 2020. I just want to take the time to congratulate the class of 2020 and I wish you all the best of luck in your future. Love, Mrs. Cavallo. All the best, congratulations, you made it. Have a great summer and good luck next year. Congratulations, St. Helens Catholic Academy, class of 2020. You did it. Best of luck in the future, in high school, and Godspeed. Hi everyone, Miss Barbara here. I would like to wish the St. Helens Catholic Academy graduating class of 2020 great success in their future and joy in their life. Congratulations. Reach for the stars. A great shout out to Miss Smith and class of 2020. Good job. 
I wish you success. And I wish that you always are smart, wise, and walk with Jesus as your best friend. Hi, hey, Greatest. Hola, ¿cómo están? I come in here to say congratulations and I wish you all the best in these new steps and way that you go to start in a few months. I wish you all the best. Keep going and keep be doing what you have to do. I am so proud of you and so happy for your bright future. Congratulations. Felicidades. Hey, class of 2020. This is Miss McJunis. I want to say congratulations to you and thank you. Thanks for being such a wonderful art class um, for your effort, for your talent, for your, your sense of humor, for your curiosity. I looked forward to every Friday with you and had so much fun. You guys were such a blast, and I wish we could have had more time together in the end. But I really believe you'll go far. Just keep, keep your minds open and never stop learning and keep drawing as well. Congratulations, eighth grade. Just know that today you are not only considered graduates, but also musicians. Teaching you eighth period was the best way to end every Tuesday. And teaching you first period was the greatest motivation to wake up every Wednesday. I wanna wish you the best of luck and I want you to know that you will be missed. Congratulations. To the graduating class of 2020, I wish you nothing but the best as you move on to high school and beyond. I know all your futures are gonna be bright. It was obviously sad and disappointing that we couldn't finish out the year together in the gymnasium. I hope all you had fun coming to PE over the years, especially the ones I've had since third grade. Again, all the best, be well, be safe, and ha try to have a great summer. Congratulations to our eighth grade St. Helens Catholic Academy graduates. I wish you all much success and happiness as you start your new chapter in your life. I've had the pleasure of knowing some of you since you were just three years old. May God bless all of you always. Hello, my amazing eighth graders. I know this graduation is a different one, and I'm sad that we didn't get to say a proper goodbye. I have a few things I wanted to share with you to help kickstart your journey to high school. Beginnings are scary. Endings are usually sad. But it's everything in between that makes life worth experiencing. Remember to be open-minded. Take risks. The good kind. And always stand up for what you believe in. I know that you will all do great during this next chapter of your life. Stay safe, be well, enjoy your summer. My door is always open, or my email. Um, if you ever need anything, please don't hesitate to reach out. Good luck, class of 2020. The class of 2020, a class that will never be forgotten. Today we celebrate your success in a very different way. You have faced many challenges, especially during these last few months, and you've learned to overcome them. We are here today to celebrate your achievements and we thank God for all the blessings we have received. I have watched you grow from when I was your second grade teacher to becoming your Spanish and computer teacher through the years. My wish for you is to stay strong, stay true to yourself and always remember we are here for you. Buena suerte en su escuela secundaria. Good luck everyone. Dear graduates of St. Helen Catholic Academy, Mrs. Panaccio is so proud to have had the privilege of watching most of you grow up from four-year-old children into young Catholic adults. All my best wishes for continued success. I'd like to quote St. Francis of Assisi, start by doing what's necessary, then do what's possible, and suddenly you're doing the impossible. Congrats, class of 2020, you will always be part of our St. Helen Strong family. Good afternoon, St. Helen graduates. I wanted to wish you the very best as you leave our academy and begin your new journey in high school. Please know that this was not the end of the year that we had hoped for for all of you. We love you dearly. We know that you are very capable young men and women and we look forward to hearing about the wonderful things that your futures will bring. I hope that we are together again in the fall 
and can celebrate properly. Good luck and stay healthy. The following students, having participated in the elementary school program prescribed by the Diocese of Brooklyn, are hereby awarded diplomas. Isabella Alvira. Giovanna Donnarumma. Ahenoman Aramaselli. Jolene Fiorello. Giovanni Gizzi. Christopher Gomez. Peter Machia. Ashley Mangar. Angel Mensa. Lauren Paguntalan. Enza Perna. Melanie Schneider. Kyle Spellman. Leandro Trovato. Leonardo Trovato. Lucas Weiss. I would like to acknowledge all of the hard work of all the students in the class of 2020. I would like to present these special awards to the following students. A gold medal for general excellence in all subjects and a gift card given by the Howard Beach Kiwanis is awarded to the following two students, Giovanna Donnarumma and Leandro Travato. A gold medal and certificate for excellence in English language arts is awarded to Peter Machia. A gold medal and certificate for excellence in science is awarded to Giovanni Gizzi. A gold medal and certificate for excellence in social studies is awarded to Isabella Alvira. A gold medal and certificate for excellence in mathematics is awarded to Angel Mensa. A gold medal and certificate for excellence in religion is awarded to Isabella Alvira. A certificate for excellence in music is awarded to Giovanni Gizzi. A certificate for excellence in art is awarded to Isabella Alvira. A certificate for excellence in physical education is awarded to Peter Machia. A certificate for excellence in Spanish is awarded to Enza Perna. A certificate for excellence in technology is awarded to Ahenomen Aromaselli. The Presidential Academic Excellence Award for maintaining a 90 or above average from fourth grade through the first marking period of eighth grade and scored in the top quarter percentile or above in reading and math on the 2019 Terranova testing is awarded to the following students. Isabella Alvira, Giovanna Donnarumma, Giovanni Gizzi, Peter Machia, Angel Mensa, Enza Perna, 
Leandro Trovato, Melanie Schneider. The Presidential Award for Educational Achievement for Outstanding Educational Growth, Improvement, and Commitment in Academic Subjects is awarded to the following students. Ahenomen Aromaselli, Jolene Fiorello, Christopher Gomez, Ashley Mangar, Lauren Pagutalan, Kyle Spellman, Leonardo Travado, Lucas Weiss. An Alta Server gift for consistent faithful service is presented to Melanie Schneider and Leonardo Travado. The Nano Lego Award is given to a child in St. Helen Catholic Academy for their service to the school and parish community. The award is named after Natal Nagel, the foundress of the Sisters of the Presentation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. I am proud to present the 2020 Natal Nagel Award to Kyle Spellman. The Nick Moshe Award for demonstrating good sportsmanship and a gift card is awarded to Melanie Schneider. The St. Francis Preparatory High School Pax at Bottom Award for Franciscan Christian Value of Faith, Service, Spirit, and Community, along with a $500 scholarship for the 2020-2021 school year is presented to Enza Perna. Hey, Miss Emma, I just wanted to say thank you for everything that you've done for us. I hope you you enjoy your time on your retirement because you really deserve it. We're going to miss you so much. Hi, I just want to say thank you for everything you've done for me and for my classmates and for the whole entire school. And everyone at St. Helens is going to miss you so much. And I'm going to miss you so much. Miss Emma, thank you for everything. Best wishes to you. Stay well. Hey, Ms. Emma, this is just a short little video of me saying thank you for being one of the best lab teachers and giving you the best of wishes to your retirement. And then we will all miss you. Hi, Ms. Emma. I hope you and your family are doing well. I want to thank you for being such a great teacher to me throughout my elementary school years. It is with great pleasure knowing that you are an instrumental part of preparing for the next step. As I leave St. Helens Catholic Academy, I want to wish you all the best with health, happiness, and to, for you to have a blessed future with your family. Take care and be safe. Bye. Hi, I didn't know you were retiring, but we were informed that you were. So I just wanted to let you know that um, I'm very thankful for everything you have done for me and for my brothers because we all went to school here and we've all thought of you the same way. We all know you're a great teacher and you're really understanding when we're missing work or if we fail a test because you know and expect the best from us. Um, but when you leave St. Helens, it's definitely going to be missing a big part. But just remember that we love you and that we wish you the best. Hey, Miss Sama, thank you for all the education you brought to me and the St. Helens Catholic Academy community. We all wish you the best of luck 
And we will all miss you. Happy retirement, Miss Emma. We're all gonna miss you. Thank you for being one of the Spanish teachers that actually helped me understand Spanish. Hey, Mrs. Sam, thank you for helping us learn Spanish and helping us in technology. Thank you for organizing the school, and please make sure to remember us during your retirement. Thank you, and enjoy every day of your retirement. Hi, Miss Emma. I just want to say thank you for all that you've done for me and for St. Helens. I hope you do well in your retirement. You really deserve it. We're all going to miss you so much. Have happy retirement, Miss Emma. We're going to miss you. Miss Emma, I hope you enjoy your retirement. Best of wishes to you and your family. It, it was fun for the short period of time that I knew you. Well, technically only one class, but it was still fun. Enjoy retirement. Hi, Miss Emma. It's Catherine, and I wanted to wish you a happy retirement. And I hope you have a very good life, and I wish you the best. Hi, Miss Emma. I just wanted to take time out of my day to thank you for everything you have done for us and the school in general. You've influenced us all in a very good way. We will miss you very much, and I wish you the best of luck in retirement. Have a good day. Hi, Mrs. Emma. I hope you're doing well, and I hope you have a great rest of your year at St. Helens, and we miss you very much. Hi, Mrs. Samuel. I just wanted to send you this video saying I'll miss you a lot. The whole class will. Everyone will. And you were a very good teacher. And you helped me a lot throughout the years, actually. And I hope you enjoy your retirement. And we'll miss you. Bye. Good afternoon, Father Cole Maria, Mr. John Spaniolo, Mr. Tuda, Ms. Smith, Mrs. Sama, Mr. Sorrow, Mr. Vogelsberg, Ms. Edwards, teachers, parents, families, friends, and my classmates. We are gathered here today to celebrate a special occasion. It's not only an ending of a chapter of our lives, but it is the beginning of an exciting new chapter. Even though we didn't get the traditional graduation that we wanted, we still have to be grateful for the teachers that put something together for us. We also have to count our blessings that we are here today, healthy and safe, because some people in the world are suffering from COVID-19 and other deadly viruses. I don't know where to start. This class has been together for 11 years. Honestly, I'm going to miss you guys. I'm going to miss all the laughs, jokes, class discussions, and much more. As I look back on all of these memories, I get a little sad because we won't be able to make as many memories as we have. But it's okay, because it was fun while it lasted. Hopefully our paths will cross again in the future and we can make more memories. There are so many people I'd like to thank. Everyone has a profound effect on my life. I want to thank our eighth grade homeroom teacher, Miss Smith. You are not only our eighth grade homeroom teacher, but you taught us in first for one period and second, third, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. As we all know, we aren't the easiest class to handle. So I just wanted to thank you for being by our side all of these years. I really, I really appreciate everything that you've done for us. I also want to thank Mr. Sorrow. You are not only you are not only taught us. You not only taught us math the past four years, but you showed us how to be a wonderful Christian and how to spread our faith to one another. I will never forget all the corny jokes that you've made. All you have taught us will forever be with me. Thank you to Mr. Vogelsberg for being our seventh grade homeroom teacher. Seventh grade is a very important year because it prepared us to get into high school, into the high school of our choice. Thank you for teaching us social studies. You made social studies very interesting and I just wanted to thank you for that. Miss Edwards, thank you for being our eighth grade ELA teacher. You taught us so much this past year. I really enjoyed the books that you gave us to read. Also, you have helped enhance my vocabulary. Thank you so much for all the memories we made this past year. Gracias, Miss Sama for teaching me Spanish and computer. 
Learning a new language with you as my teacher was fun. Hopefully I can take Spanish in high school. You have also been with our class for a while. I honestly don't know how you dealt with us. I would like to take this opportunity to thank two very important principals that I have had the honor to know over the last several years. Thank you to Mr. Tuda and Dr. Zarillo for enhancing this school to be the best it can be. Mr. Tuda, thank you for pre preparing our school for the advanced ed team. Your love for the students is apparent. You always greet us with a smile in the morning. We wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors. In addition, I would like to thank Dr. Zarilla for your dedication and leadership, which enabled the smooth transition from a school to an academy. You taught us the skills that we needed to solve problems, which we will take this with us to high school. I would also like to thank Father Cole Maria and all the priests that have kept this parish thriving and how I have enjoyed listening to your great homilies. Thank you for the rest of the faculty and Mr. Vinny for taking care of the school. Finally, I would like to thank all of the parents. This experience wouldn't be possible without your sacrifices that you've made for us. Thank you for choosing a wonderful school for all the graduates to go to. All the wonderful memories are because of you. Most importantly, we cannot forget our faith. Without our faith, none of this would be possible. God has put all of these people in our lives. Everything the school has done for me will never be forgotten. The friendships that I have made will never be broken. I'm going to miss everything about this school, the teachers, the students, and the positive energy. Everything that I've learned at St. Helen Catholic Academy will be carried with me for the rest of my life. Thank you to everyone that was a part of this wonderful educational experience. Congratulations to the class of 2020. My name is John Spagnola. I have the honor and privilege of being the chairperson of the Board of Directors of St. Helen Catholic Academy. And in that capacity, I congratulate you on behalf of the entire Board of Directors. This graduating class has had to navigate their way through quite a chaotic moment in time. Sun Tzu said, in the midst of chaos, there is also opportunity. I hope that in the midst of all this chaos, you have taken the opportunity to get closer to your family, that you have taken the opportunity to renew your faith in God, and that you have taken the opportunity to double down on your academic studies. You are now almost high schoolers, ready for more responsibility, more work, and yes, more opportunities than you have ever imagined. I want to personally thank you for your contributions that you've made to the St. Helen Catholic Academy. We are all better because of you, and I know that each of you will continue to show your brilliance. In addition to saying goodbye to each of you, there are two very special people who will be graduating with you. Both Mr. Tudor, our principal, and Mrs. Sama will not be returning to St. Helen Catholic Academy in the next school year. I would like to thank Mr. Tudor for his contributions and leadership after the, over the past two years. Even though your stay was short, you have left a mark on St. Helen Catholic Academy, its students, faculty, staff, and parents. We wish you well. Mrs. Sama has been a member of the St. Helen Catholic Academy family for over 30 years, both as a, as a parent and as a faculty member. Her three children are graduates of St. Helen's School. As a faculty member, she has been a key component of our success. Whether she was teaching our children Spanish or computer skills, coordinating tests or school liturgy preparations, volunteering to help with fundraising or with grant writing, Mrs. Sama was always there to guide us along and help us with anything asked of her. The word no is not in her vocabulary. We've been blessed to have you be a part of the foundation of this academy these past 21 years, but we remain blessed in knowing that you will be there for us in the future as well. Thank you, and God bless you both. Graduates, always remember the three principles that we have written over our front door, faith, academics, and service. I encourage you to live these three virtues, because if you do, you will continue to be successful in all that you do. Congratulations, and God bless you all.
As your time at St. Helen Catholic Academy is now complete, may you strive toward excellence in all you do. As the speeches conclude, may your voices rise up to pronounce justice and peace in this world. As the fanfare ceases, may you sing of joy even in the dark and lonely places. As the applause quiets, may you celebrate and lift up those around you. As you graduate today, may your achievements grow and cause growth in this community. And may all know of the overwhelming blessings of the one who created all things. Amen. <laughs>